All right, this video is going to show you how to take continuous information and change it into categories. So this is a really fun data set, and as you scan through here, you can see that everything is continuous information. There are no categories. So if I want to run a t-test or an ANOVA or a chi-square, it's not going to work with this data set. So we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to highlight two columns, move them into a new tab, and then I'm just going to sort my data. So data, sort. My data has headers, and I'm going to sort by population. So what that has done is it has put all of the populations that are smaller at the bottom, and then all of my populations by state that are larger down here. So I'm just going to pick a spot, scanning through here, and we'll just say that the cutoff value is 3,000. This is completely arbitrary. You can make your cutoff values wherever you want to. I'm going to make one stand for uh, smaller populations. We'll have two stand for larger populations. I could add a three that would be small, medium, large if we want to do it that way. But since we are about to start t-tests, we need two groups. So what that has done is I now have two groups, one and two. So I can now say that this is my median household income for the smaller make that for my smaller populations and this would be my median household income for populations that are larger so if I was going to do a t-test my research question would be do do states with smaller overall populations have a larger or smaller or different, depending on if I want it one tail or two tail, average median household income. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. I gotta say it this day, I could say it a different way. Hey, babe, stop. Sorry, my dog is being really loud. I could also say it a different way. I could say, do states with a larger population have a higher average household income? And then I can run a t-test using my two new groups.